Hello, um, this is a brief tutorial of the Casio G-Shock uh, Smart Sync app. The idea of this app is uh, to integrate your traditional G-Shock uh, 5600 and 5000 series with Google services such as um, Google Calendar, Alarms, um, and so on. Um, so I just started the app. This is the initial screen. The app works by connecting to the watch first, and then it goes through through, through various screens you can set up. Um, so there's two ways to connect to it. The first way is to just uh, press and hold the lower left button for three seconds. Um, once it's connected, uh, it will go to the next screen and, and so on. Uh, the other way is if you just want to run a quick command um, on your phone, like set the time, um, you can press the lower left button. Sorry, the lower right button here. Sure, I just short press and uh, it will connect, it will run some action and it will um, disconnect automatically. Uh, so we're going to talk about actions in details later, but for now we're just going to, uh, to use the left button to connect and see what the screens are. So right now I'm um, pressing this button on my, um, on my Casio watch. It's a 5600 uh, series. So you wait for the first beep, second beep, and it should um, it should connect now. There we go. Um, right. So it comes to um, first to the main screen. This is the first screen. Um, from this screen, we can set the time and we can set the timer. Right. Um, so one general rule in this app is that uh, the user is in full control. So um, the app will not set time automatically for you. You have to basically press a button to do it. So right now the local time uh, from the phone is um, is 10:43. Uh, if you want to set send this time to the watch, we just press this button, uh, send to watch, and now the time is uh, on the watch is synced with the with the with the phone. Um, another thing we can do is we can set the timer. Um, so the timer basically you you press over the numbers over the timer numbers. And here you can enter a different value, four minutes and 10 seconds, for example, I say, okay. And um, the next thing to do is just to send it to the watch again, because nothing will happen until you actually send it. So now um, your watch will have this timer set up. Uh, this screen also shows the name of the watch. Uh, if you have a different watch, this, the name will display here. So in mine is Casio GW5600. Uh, it shows the home time and also the battery level. Okay, so that's that's set for the screen. Um, next, we are going to go to alarms. Um, so these are the alarms. Um, there's already three alarms set and enable on the watch, so they're shown here. Um, and of course, you can add or modify them. Um, let's, uh, for example, modify the third alarm. Let's say from ten. 35, we want to set it to, let's say, 9, 9 o'clock. Uh, say OK to that, and um, you can enable or disable it. Uh, let's disable it. You can also set the chime on and off. Uh, the chime is, of course, uh, a beep at the beginning of each hour, right? Uh, let's put it um, off for now. Um, another thing you can do is you can actually send the same alarms to your uh, alarm app on the on the, on your phone. So every Android phone has a, a standard alarm application, um, you know, with different alarms in it. If you if you send it like that to your alarm app, the same um, same alarms will be sent to it. So um, your phone will have the same alarms as your watch. So that's how they sync together, right? Okay, so the next screen is um, um, events or Google events. Uh, this screen allows you to set reminders on your watch. Um, the um, this, um, these reminders are taken from your Google Calendar. So I didn't enter this manually here. Uh, they are from the Google Calendar. I just set up in my Google Calendar. Um, so some of these are um, a simple events like they happen once, you know, one one time event. Some of them are more more complex. For example, the last one is uh, go to the gym um, every week on Tuesday and Thursday. 
and or between October the 4th and November the 15th. So you can set up um, simple alarms or you can set up more complex alarms like weekly, monthly, yearly, um, repeated alarms. Um, uh, very similar to the Google Calendar. And uh, when we're ready, we can just send this as reminders to your watch. So it, it will appear on your watch and your watch will remind you when any one of these events happen if you don't have your, your phone with you, for example. Right? So we can send it. Um, okay, we're going to talk about um, actions later, but let's first go to the settings screen, which is the last screen. Uh, so here, basically, you you set your um, different you know different configuration on your watch. Um, for example, you can set the time format to twelve for twenty four hours, um, the date format month or date first, right? In in North America, it's normally month then date in the rest of the world is day month um, so when you can set your, your language um, button operation tone that means if you want your um, your watch to beep when you press the button right normally it's on just leave it on auto light you can set the duration of the light and power saving mode it's really pretty straightforward so when we're happy we can just uh, we can just send it to the watch um, but another feature this is that you can auto fill these values and they're filled by the settings on your phone right so for example if your phone is set for 12 hours and month Monday day then and the language is English it, this will be pre-filled with these values um, the button operation tone whether we want to hear the beep is um, uh, it's it, it, it normally on it will be set to on, but uh, unless your phone is in do not disturb mode, and then it will be set to off, right? In this case, my phone is not in, in do not disturb mode, so it's on. Uh, the power setting mode is also based on your battery level on your watch, so um, it will not change unless your battery level on your watch is 15% or less. And if it is, then it will just um, turn this on, right? So when we're happy with that, we just uh, again send it to the watch and um, that's it for this screen. So let's go to actions. So basically actions are, um, are programs you can uh, run on your phone or actions you can run on your phone by pressing the lower right button on your watch. Uh, if you remember on the original screen, we had this lower right button to run actions. So you just short press it and if you have it, all the actions that are enabled here will be run. So for example, one action is to set the time. So um, to set the time on a watch. So if you if you just if this is the if the first action is enabled and you press your your lower right button, the time on the watch will be set. Um, so you can look at all these. Um, one thing you can do is you, you can actually take a, a photo on your uh, from your phone by pressing the by pressing the button on your watch. Say, for example, if you want to take a remote photo of, a, let's say, a bird, you can put your watch anywhere, um, uh, like remote from you. And when you want to take a photo, you just take, uh, you know, press the button on your watch and um, the photo will be taken and it will be saved to, to your album automatically on your phone, right? And you can do that repeatedly. You can also turn on your flashlight uh, from your watch. Um, um, voice assist and so on. Uh, there's also an emergency um, feature. Um, let's say if you're in an accident um, and you cannot operate your phone for some reason, let's say it's in your pocket, you can, um, if you enter a phone number here and you uh, in the last um, in, in, in the last action and you enable it, then this phone number will be dialed by, again, by pressing um, the button on your watch. Um, so I don't think Google will let you dial 911, but uh, you can enter your, say, your friend's phone number or something like that, and then this will be dialed, right? Um, so just, just to recap, uh, actions are commands run on your phone by pressing a button on your watch, and w whichever actions are enabled will be run. Okay, so that, that's basically a review of this app. Um, to disconnect from the app, you just press any button on your on your uh, on your watch again, 
and uh, there we go we go back to the main screen now we disconnect it um, here the um, you know the lower right button um, start start to press action is what we, we talked about um, so short press to to, to run actions um, yeah that's it um, you can get help throughout the app by pressing on the on the question mark here like that and uh, a help screen will come up depending on the context of that screen it will tell you what to do so that's basically it for the app thank you very much hope you enjoyed it